Yo, people, welcome back to another video on the Big Steph channel. And today, I'm here to talk about why if Declan Rice signs for Manchester City, this league could really be doomed. Let's get into it. Stuck inside a maze, I've been up for days Cardings on my face, no, you can't see a thing But I see all the hate, and the fake ass niggas talking in my face But I cannot be phased, I gotta be brave Provide for the fans so they don't have to slave Mom told me behave, but I'm a wild out till a nigga in the grave I'm a wild out till a nigga in the grave I'ma be a great So ladies and gentlemen, it has been reported recently Arsenal's top target, Declan Rice, might sign for Manchester City. He might. He just might. According to Sky and other major um, football coverage outlets, Manchester City is reportedly coming in with a 75 million euro bid with 15 million in installments. Basically, almost the same deal structured as Arsenal. Probably some small structural details, probably in terms of installments, when certain installments, when certain installments will take place, when they will happen. I don't pers first of all, let me just get this off my chest. I, at first, when I heard this rumor that Man City, Man City might come in for Declan Rice, I thought it was a hoax. I thought it was just going to be to drive up the price, to get Arsenal to pay the fee faster, just to get just to get the deal done from West Ham's side so they could get as much money as possible and get it as soon as possible so they could look for upgrades. I still believe that. But I can't just see all these outlets posting about this news and not have to take it with some sense of... Well, this might, this might be true. Because they did just lose El Kai Gundogan to Barcelona on a free. They're going to have money to spend. Obviously, the Manchester City, they always have money to spend. Um, and they're going to be looking in the market. They're going to be looking in the market. Originally, they had Nico Barella. Um, they were listed to have Nico Barella, but Nico Barella is going to definitely cost over 100 million euros. Um, and I guess the next best start, Bellingham going to Real Madrid. Tenali going to Newcastle. I it was a big fan of Tenali for years now. Um, I thought when he signed a new deal last season, I thought he was going to stay at AC Milan. Apparently not. Signed with Newcastle for 80 million euros. Um, 80 million pounds, I think. Sorry. But I don't know what happens with this Declan Rice deal. I was very confident that Arsenal get this deal done. Not so sure about it now. Um... It's causing a lot of doubt, but what my main concerns are, if Man City are able to poach that kind of race, are they just going to be become the English version of Bayern Munich for this for this Premier League? Because they've won five out of the last six, won countless Carabao Cups, they've won two or three FA Cups in Pep Guardiola's time, they just won the Champions League, they just won the trouble, literally just won the trouble. And now they're poaching one of the second best. Now they're poaching the second best team's top target to improve to catch them. They're about to take their top target, the target that was supposed to move them to the next level. They're about to take him from them, and make themselves better. That could be a very, very, very bad sign, because if Manchester City has that much power and influence and money on these players and in this league. And Arsenal, if, if, for example, Arsenal was finished second last season, they consistently sign the second best, the second best, the second best, while City continue to sign the top of the top of the top of the top. Only one team will consistently come out on top. History has shown that. Manchester City has shown that over the last couple of years. Arsenal is a team known, especially under Arteta and Edu, yes, to make have brilliant signings and to have good scouting, but it's also very common that we, one, don't like to get in bidding wars. And two, we don't like paying over for players. And that means a lot of the time we don't get our top targets. It means a lot of the time we don't get our top targets. We lost out, on Ch we lost out to Chelsea for Madrid. We lost out on a center box. We lost out on countless, countless players over the years. 
to Luzon or Declan Rice after coming so close to a Premier League title and him going to the biggest rivals for that Premier League title, that would be a crushing blow. So not only should it be to Arsenal fans, but it should to be around the league that no team is safe. No team is safe if Manchester City could pull this deal off. If they could pull this deal off, it will send shockwaves through, the, through especially the Premier League landscape. Do I think City pulled this deal off? No. I still think, I still personally think it's all full of smoke and mirrors and it's going to drive and push Arsenal to get the deal done as fast as possible and pay as much money as possible to get the deal done. I don't know if City are in for him. I still don't believe it. But I do hope Arsenal do manage to get Declan Rice because not getting Declan Rice would be very, very upsetting. To have known we've, we've, known, we've known we want him for, for, for ages now. You've known we wanted Declan Rice for weeks now. We've we've done countless coverage on this channel, on on other fan channel on other fan channels. We've compared him to, to Moses Caicedo. We're out of the Moses Caicedo deal. We we're out of the Moses Caicedo deal to focus on the Declan Rice deal, and to not get Declan Rice would be absolutely tragic for this football song. But if they do manage to sign Declan Rice, I'm already starting to think of alternatives. I say Piotr Zielinski. I said I wanted Tanali before. I said Nicolo Barella. If we're willing to spend, if we're willing to already spend, what? 90 million on that clown rice. If they could somehow do a deal for Nicolo Barella, that would be nice. Zuba Mendy, I've been hearing linked has a release clause of just over 50 million euros, 55 million euros or something like that. I haven't seen much of him um, for Sociedad, if I'm being quite honest. I haven't really seen much of him, but he's rated for pretty highly. But we need, we need to get our targets in. We need, if we're going to continuously keep growing as a big club, and push to be one of the elites again in Europe we need to start landing our top targets I'm not saying that everybody you want you're gonna get I'm not even asking for that but just you have to state your intent in the market state your intent go get your best players beat City in this battle and, 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 let's just, and let's just kick on from there let's get this saga over with let's get him through the door and let's get the player that the fans, majority of the fans, and clearly Arsenal want. Mikel Arteta especially. But if we don't get him, who do you blame? Is it down to Edu? Arteta? Them combined? Is it down to the Cronkies, do you think? Probably for not paying enough? Who knows? Who knows? But Declan Rice, please do not go to Manchester City. Just save this league some parody. Unless I have a competitive league still. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.